Hey guys, what's up? BC coming back at you guys with yet another video, and this is actually kind of going, well, at this rate you kind of already know what's coming back. Reversals are back! Sort of. I'm kind of running out of material to actually want to do reversals, and honestly, just, these weren't doing so hot on my channel anyways, so I kind of stopped doing them all together for that reason but you know what I kind of miss doing them it gave me a reason to turn the camera on every now and again so here you go and here is a reversal that I believe was actually kind of a highly requested one when the figure first came out now I realize I'm probably extremely late on this but you know what you know whatever and plus also it gives it gives me a reason to sit down with my favorite Prime figure. That being Transformers Prime First Edition Voyager Bulkhead. Now of course mine is the second release, so he's not as fancy. But either way, same figure, same toy, same concept. You know what you know what you're dealing with here. Now bearing this in mind, this is a very big and bulky figure. So his overall Transformation was kind of a mind-boggling thing when you first get it. Um, it took me a couple tries to really truly get down how it worked. Especially going to truck mode, since he is initially packaged here in robot mode. So if you are going after a first edition bulkhead, this is where you're starting off. So if you are looking for a first edition bulkhead... And you want to know how to, and you're having trouble transforming him? Look no further. Here's the video you need. So with that said, let's get on to it. Um, first things first. Naturally, you're gonna to want to pull this off. Come back here and unpeg these pieces from his back. Kind of move them out of the way just a little bit. So you can get in here and lift this piece up, and kind of fold it up like that, flip his head completely around to where it will fold up and reveal this whole area for the top of the car, or truck, or whatever you want to call this. Um, flip his hand in, of course. Now take these bits and pull them out to pull them out rotate his arms to the side like that and leave them there now of course he's gonna get a little back heavy but that's fine at this point you kinda need to start moving the arms out of the way so you can get these panels to flip out and then this whole panel this whole wheel well will fold down now again, getting his arm up like this, folding this whole panel out, and then flipping this wheel down. Getting this flap out of the way, you're gonna bring, you're gonna fold together his arms and his shoulder pad like this. And since these are spring-loaded bits, when you bring these together, they're going to tab in up here, very loosely, might I add, and these are going to compress in. So if you were wanting, so again, if you are, if you have gotten your figure and you are still not sure how it transforms and you notice that, that's what it's for. It's all for the transformation. Now to kind of lock this together, you fold this down and it pegs and locks on right there. Now, of course, it's choosing to be a pain in the butt right now. Come on. There we go. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he's being finicky. Anyways, with that done, you take these and you fold them back. I just realized that this is out of the order. Okay, so, ignoring my stupidity, 
unlock this, actually rotate these back up, keeping the arms like this. This slot is where the wheel is going to tab in. So you're going to bring this whole panel back. Tab it in right there. Come on. Tabbing, you little punk. There we go. Do the same to the other side. Make sure it all folds flush. Now, once you got that, you then fold this over top. If it will cooperate with you, like that. And you're going to take this bit, and it's going to come down, and it's going to lock all this together. There we go. I'm an idiot. So now we move over to these pieces. And this is kind of where the, the transformation got re gets really interesting. You're going to take the headlights and rotate them back down and push them in to lock them into their vehicle mode position. You're going to unpack his crotch plate and, just, and this is a naturally loose piece. Nothing you can really do about that at the moment unless you have tricks up your sleeve. I, I don't have tricks up my sleeve. I don't. Anyways, moving on. You can fold this up. Kind of bring these down. And they kind of just sit together. You're going to want to keep this out. And now getting into the legs, you're going to want to fold the feet up like this. Then the legs will come up like this, and using the main knee joint, you're going to fold this leg piece completely up. And then bring it up like this. Making sure it all sits together. I do believe that's how it works. Yep, that's supposed to sit in there. And to basically finish off the transformation, you take this whole piece and probably the coolest part of this whole transformation, slide it up, all tabs together. Take your wrecking ball, plug it onto the back of his truck because vehicle storage. It never looks ridiculous. Never. There you go. There is first edition bulkhead back in his truck mode. And you know, there you go. You can now see why I definitely identify this as a very difficult, like not difficult, but very at first daunting transformation. There is a lot going on with this figure that you really wouldn't expect when you first get them. So, with that said, there you go. There's the reversal for first edition bulkhead. Something that I want, I've want, i been wanting to do, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have wanted me to do for the longest time, and are finally getting it, even though they probably no longer want it anymore. Well, my channel will do what I want. and But yeah, love the truck mode. You get how this works. This is an essentially a review. This is more or less me going, taking what I already reviewed and just reversing the process. That's like, if you are new to reversals, that's the point of this. If you want a full, like, if you want my full opinion about the figure, I do plan to redo the review on this because, well, the new camera. I plan to go back and redo a lot of my reviews. So with that said, he's planned, a lot of figures are planned for their big redo. With this said, guys, I think I've taken up enough of your time. This is BC Saiyan Standard to get your geek on. I will catch you guys next time. The next reversal will be First Edition RC.